Here. This is the place. Ah! What are you doing? <laughs> Girl's got some spunk. What are you trying to do, leading me all the way here? Isn't it obvious? This is where I'm gonna make you my woman. What? What are you saying? If I said something like that, the kid with the shining dragon might seriously come looking for you, right? You're using me as a hostage to lure Yuma here? That's right. So just be quiet and don't get any stupid ideas. You'll only hurt yourself. Why are you so fixated on Yuma? No, not Yuma. The dragon. Neither. Yeah, I've got to fight him, but he's not the end game. There's a bigger fish. He's an asshole, though. A condescending asshole who just won't shut up about dragons and souls and... Ugh. But I got him to make me a promise. If I give him proof that I beat the Shining Dragon, he'll give me a proper fight. And that... That's gonna make all this worth it. The isolation. Loneliness. <laughs> it's almost over now. You're strong. Inhumanly strong, like you always talk about. And you're still not happy? Maybe. But being weak definitely doesn't guarantee you happiness either, right? Tragedy preys on the weak. You'd understand if you saw my homeland. Huh? Call Bull if you want. But I used to be a prince, you know. That was before the Knights Sanguine laid siege to my country. You're a princess, you said. Then you know how it goes. You fight for your people, your family, like in the stories, but stories is all they are. I watched my entire family die at the hands of the church. That's... And let's be clear now. I didn't take that trash lying down. I killed dozens of knights for every person I lost that day. But that was all I could do. Defend myself until they stopped coming. I wasn't the strongest back then. That's when it became clear. To do anything meaningful, anything more than survive, you've got to be more than strong. So I gave myself up. Renounced everything and converted to the Sanguine Faith. Whatever secrets the Knights knew, I wanted them. And they bought it. Took me to participate in some initiation thing. Communion, they called it. Communion? Yeah, that's what I said. Anyone who wants to join Beowulf has to partake in communion before they're allowed in. There's a lot of religious talk around it. Some bull about your worthiness, and a bunch of scripture about mantling Deus himself. So they hand me a cup brimming with this blood of Dea stuff. We all drink, and it does not go down smooth. Most people die in minutes. But one in a hundred absorbs the blood into their body, and awakens to a special power called a sacrament. They've been doing this for centuries. Calling the herd, breeding mortals worthy of Deus's name. So you survived communion and ended up with your abilities, is that it? More or less. I had a sip of the good stuff, and got all that power I wanted so badly. Even Georg, the Knight Commander, is no match for me now. Turns out I'm a special case. According to the Church, there's never been anyone with a blood profile as favorable as mine. But honestly, I'm not about their dogma. And I've got no interest in inheriting anything, so I gave the right to Georg. He wanted it. I'm already too strong to fight. What would divine power even do for me? No point in it. You're so lonely. 
That I am. I've been waiting for someone ever since I took communion. Waiting for a peer. An equal. I want to meet someone like that and have a fight where I've got no idea if I'll win or die. A fight to make my blood boil and my heart tremble in my chest. Uh, I didn't mean it like that. You... you truly are a tragic soul. <laughs>